Hey guys, Sam and Audrey here. Over the past few weeks, we've been publishing our India video series and editing all that footage has got us craving Indian food. That's why for today's video, we decided to get some takeout here in Brampton. This is so much food. I have five bags of food. Amazing. We ordered some Punjabi food and also got chatting about our very first solo trips to India exactly 10 years ago before we knew each other. So get ready for some baby face photos and some delicious food. Well, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys. Greetings from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Yes, we are still in Brampton and it is almost lunchtime. It's 11.30, so we're gonna be ordering some food. What are uh, we having today? Not just any kind of food. It's gonna be Indian food and specifically Punjabi food. Punjabi because, food. Because guys, yes. we just, we if you've been following the channel, we've been doing a, seri a food series from Amritsar. Mm -hmm. And here in Brampton, there are options galore. So do you remember the restaurant you chose? Yeah, it's called The Taste of Punjab. Okay. And when I was typing in like Punjabi food in Brampton, there's so many restaurants popped up. So I actually took the time to find a place that has really good reviews. Okay. And we've never had anything from there before, but nope, we're really excited. Time. They have an extensive menu and we can't wait to show you like just the different options that you, from what you can order right from well, the online menu. We're feeling hungry, so I think it's a good time to place our order. Let's go choose some dishes. Let's together. do it. Options. Options. So the menu is really cool. So they have combos which is basically, um, there's a couple different tally sets mm -hmm. and uh, a couple other things. They have kulcha, which is obviously a very unique uh, food from Amritsar, Punjabi food. Pakoras, samosas, then they have a tandoori special, Ooh. which is really cool. There's chicken tikka, she's kebab, then vegetarian delights. This is probably the most extensive part of the menu. We've got uh, kurma, masala, different kinds of paneers, palak paneer, one of our favorites. Oh, I'd love to have some of that. That might be my number one. Yeah. One of the foods I tried when I was in Amritsar that's on here that's really, really good is uh, dal makani. They also have... And I remember chole from editing the videos. <laughs> yeah, chole. Chole. I'm not sure if I haven't seen that one yet, but there's also a non-veg, just butter chicken. Ooh. That's a must. We're probably going to order a combination of veg and non-veg. Uh -huh. So uh, it's going to be exciting to order. All right. Options, options galore. Hi, hello. Can I place an order for takeout? Sure, what's uh, One paneer masala small, one palak paneer small, one dal makani small, one butter chicken small, uh, one aloo gobi, one chicken tandoori, uh, chicken tikka, one veg biryani, two butter naan, one garlic naan, and one amritsari kulcha. 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. We'll be there. Food order has been placed. It's a lot of food, so it's going to be 45 minutes, which yeah. will be 12.30. That's a normal time for lunch, yeah. right? We, so. we intentionally ordered small so that we could try yes. a lot of things. Exactly. You can get medium so. and large, but yeah. we figured variety is good. I need to wipe the dog's mouth because he drinks water and then just leaves puddles yeah. everywhere. Since your, your dad's out today, he's he's on. Uh, he, th he feels he's doing extra guard duties. Yes. He's been alert. He's been growling at the neighbor's dog. <laughs> Every time he hears a little guy bark, he's like, Arr. and he does his indoor like, woof, woof. woof. Yeah. <laughs> he's just not pleased. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll do a little bit of work for a bit longer and then we'll drive over. Mm -hmm. It's only 12 minutes away from our place. So not very far at all. Nope. And would you like to try some? Punjabi food, Togo. <laughs> Maybe not. It's going to be too spicy he, he, for he you. Might, he might like the, chi the chicken tikka. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are driving to the restaurant to do pickup because restaurants are technically still closed for eating in. Um, they're doing delivery only. And yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't had Indian food in a long time. How about for you, since you got back from India? Or has it's, my mom made Indian food? Well, she might have made a curry. Yeah, she's done a few things, but like, like, yeah. um, like, like real authentic Indian food. It's been, no. it's been absolute ages. Mm -hmm. And like editing the, the old series I, I shot with David, it's, yeah. it's made me so it's hungry. It's making you hungry. Yeah, so it, like, it, that wasn't filmed recently, obviously. And yeah. so, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm super excited for this food. Me too. It's only uh, apparently a 13 minute drive. And yeah, it's really close by. It's just this restaurant is kind of like n in, in a commercial slash industrial area. Yeah. So it's not in an area that I drive by very often. That's why I had never heard of it. Like I've just never been to that one. There's other Indian restaurants closer to home that we go to. Guys, 
This is so much food. I have five bags of food. Amazing. This is crazy. It wasn't that much. It was like $60. Wow. And it's a lot of food. I need to find a place where to put it all. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. excited. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> so should we do a food tour? Would that be the best thing to start with? Okay, yeah. So we are back in the kitchen. Yep. The food order was just massive. Yeah. Also, I only ordered five. Somehow we have six in front of us. Hey, we got so a bonus one. There's a bonus one. There's a mystery one. So yeah. we'll see what that one is all about. Okay, so but shall we go through? Let us commence. We have... We've got vegetable biryani. Very yes. colorful. Saffron. You can tell. Look at the saffron color. Yeah, there. a really nice yep. looking rice. It's got peas, oh, it carrots, amazing. corn, and yes, the aroma coming the, off. The aromas. So this is our bread tray, mm -hmm. which is naan and kulcha. Yes. So this is the garlic naan here, and then we've got a stash of butter naan, which mm -hmm. we ordered two of, and this is the kulcha. This is a amrit story kulcha. Yeah, I saw that different. being yeah. being made in the video. Oh wow. Where they like put spices and other things into it yeah 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 so do you want to give a tour of this okay over here we have our chicken tikka cooked mm -hmm. in a tandoori oven yep. it comes with some onions carrots and we've got some white cabbage mm -hmm. and then we have <laughs> then we have a barking <laughs> it'll pass little barking <laughs> interlude <laughs> does not like the delivery man. Yeah. Sorry about that. Your mom got an Amazon package. Curries. Let's talk about the curries. Right. So let's start with what we know. We've got the aloo gobi with yeah. cauliflower. The potatoes and cauliflower. Really yeah. Really good. It's one of my favorite vegetarian curries. Right. Of course, palak paneer with spinach and cottage cheese. I think that's our yeah, favorite. The, no. Yeah, that's 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 up there. I mean, I also really like this one here, the mm -hmm. paneer masala. Okay. So it's it's also the chunks yeah. of paneer with a uh, oh the the, the 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 masala sauce is amazing. Yeah. And then the the one um, non veg option here is mm -hmm. the butter chicken. And then over here we have the dal makani, looking good. I watch Sam eat this almost every single day in Amritsar. Yeah. So it looks good. And this is the mystery one. And that is the mystery one. Yeah. So, so why don't in. we just dig in? Let's start yeah. serving it up. So one thing, one thing we learned um, from our mistakes in the past, especially when okay. we had Indian food in uh, in Japan, uh -huh. is that uh, we shouldn't be taking the bread and dipping it right in. So I have okay. I have serving spoons for all of the different uh, all of the different curries mm -hmm. and then load it up on your plate. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start with my favorite. There's lots of spinach. I'm looking for the for oh, the cheese. I, I see the paneer. There's some paneer. I'll try that too. Dal oh, slow cooked lentils. I'm going to start with 3. Why don't we choose like 3 different ones? Sure. Aside from the palak Okay, I'll take some butter chicken too. You want to load me up? Okay, Th this one can be yours. I'll choose oh. something else. Well, Otherwise, you. we're all trying the same thing. Yeah. So do you wanna do you wanna try the kulcha? The uh, um, do you wanna have a, some? Do you wanna do garlic? Yeah. Naan no. First? You know what? I would love to try the kulcha because okay. I've had butter naan and garlic naan you before. Know what? I know what let's, that's about. Let's do three rounds. Three rounds. And uh, this is three round one. Rounds of food. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna grab this mystery one. Let's see if I can figure it out. Oh, chickpeas. Oh, it's like a chole. I Hot. mean, I don't know if that curry was meant for someone else and it just got well, mixed up, but I don't yeah. mind. I will Is enjoy it, it. Thank you or sorry to somebody who, sorry, didn't, who didn't get what they, they were. Mm. Try the dal makani. They asked us if they want it. If if they wanted spicy, if we wanted Ooh, it spicy. That is very spicy, was oh that, my. Was that bring it? Yeah, on the phone he was like, how spicy do you want it? And we're like, we like spicy. Mm. Oh, so rich. Ooh, so ooh. rich and buttery. My oh. mouth is on fire, but that is good. Okay, I'm gonna try the chickpea curry here. I'm trying the palak paneer. Mm. This is delicious. Yeah. All right, guys, we have loaded up our plates because it was just so delicious that we kind of started eating and we got carried away. So let's do it systematically. Let's do it as you, as systematically. You as you One at a time. You, you're, 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 you're in charge. You, you choose. You choose. Let's begin with the dal makani, which is Good very choice. popular straight out of Amritsar. So I already had some with kulcha. This time mm -hmm. I'm trying it with the garlic naan. 
Okay, and can you tell us a bit about this dish since you ate it so frequently? What, what I love about this particular curry, the black lentils, buttery, creamy sauce, mm -hmm. it's so rich, spicy. What do you think? The lentils are just so soft. Okay. They like melt in your mouth. And I like that the sauce is like really buttery mm -hmm. and almost a little bit creamy. Yeah, yeah. That is very good. How does it compare to what you were eating in India? It's good. It's, it's yeah. authentic for sure. Yeah. And the real yeah. flavor. It's the real deal. Okay. It might even be spicier than some of the ones we had mm -hmm. because I mean, they, they, they asked us over the phone, you mm -hmm. want spicy? And we're like, yeah, bring it. Yes, we like spice. What do you want to try next? Okay, let's do aloo gobi, cauliflower aloo gobi. And potato. I love the soft texture of the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Practically melts in your mouth. You don't even really have to put much effort into the chewing process. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I was mostly having the cauliflower. Mm. What do you think? That's quite nice, yeah. It's not good? This is a fun way to eat cauliflower. Mm -hmm. You know when you're a kid and your parents want to feed you something healthy, they're like, broccoli and cauliflower, and you're like, no. Yeah. Well, my parents used to have to disguise the broccoli like smothered in cheese or something. Okay, <laughs> so it was yeah. pretty much the only way I would have I it. I know, because otherwise it's a bit bland, but when you add yeah. all these spices to it, it's like, ooh. Oh, I don't know. Alu, alu gobi is actually one of the first Indian dishes I've ever had, I ever tried. Okay. Yeah. What should we try next? Um, how about one we both love, palak paneer? Okay, let's go for that palak. <clears throat> nice and spinachy. Yeah. A deep green. Mm. So rich. Mm -hmm. And like, this is probably the spiciest palak paneer I've ever yeah, tried. Yeah, we asked we ask spicy across the board. Mouth so. is on fire, seriously. We, Out we, of all six, I would say the palak paneer is the spiciest of them all. Yeah, I think you're right. Woo! <laughs> I need some water actually. Oh. All right, so. Butter chicken. Yeah. So far, that's been my favorite. I'm gonna actually yeah. have that with the garlic. For me, butter chicken, honestly, it just brings back memories of high school because yeah. where I live in Brampton, we have a very large Indian population. So a lot of my school friends mm. were from India. So when I would go over to their houses for birthday parties, they would usually have butter chicken and there would also be like samosas and then we'd end up watching Bollywood movies and then we'd end up Bollywood dancing in the basement. Oh, wow. that sounds like so much so fun. Like, yeah, that's when I, whenever I eat butter chicken, it just brings back those memories of like birthday parties in high school. Again, that mm. that's that's a that's typically a gateway dish for people trying Indian food for the first time in Canada mm. a lot of times butter chickens on the menu mm -hmm. it's a hit with everyone yeah like yep. you said it's just so delicious i think you're mm. gonna really like the next one why don't we try the paneer masala mm. Mm. that's good just such a richness mm. huh i love it and last but not least what's last we have the chickpeas, chickpeas? i need more bread Do you? maybe garlic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'll take some garlic mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then i'd like to hear some stories from you from like your early travels in India before we knew each other. Yeah, well, there's plenty. Hmm. It's all, it's totally awesome. Like, they're all oh. delicious. I'd say the butter chicken and the palak paneer are my favorite, so. I am loving this naan, the garlic one. Yeah. It has like minced garlic and it is loaded, okay? Oh, this is so good. Whew. It's bringing even more flavor to the curries. Mm -hmm. So, tell us about your early travels in India. Well, the first time I went to India, I was an ultra hardcore backpacker. I probably had a budget of less than $500 for the month. Oh, and wow. I found India, especially back then, that would have been in 2010. I was really able to stretch my budget. Okay. Like I often found accommodations for five to ten dollars a night. Mm -hmm. I would. This is back before like online booking agencies were common. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally just show up. I get dropped off in a in a, in a backpacker friendly kind of area, mm -hmm. and then just walk. I, I hit the, I'd hit the pavement and start visiting places. Sometimes I'd mm -hmm. have a few in mind that mm -hmm. I wanted to check out. Other times I totally winged it. And um, yeah, that was such just such a different experience back then. That was a whole part of the adventure, not having a, a smart phone at the time, not having yeah. a map. Oh yeah. Just arriving, not really knowing where I was. So it was just a, like, it was like a, a different, like almost like a different universe of travel yes. back in those days. And it's a little bit more adventurous. I mean, I'm not sure if I would give up the modern technology we have now to go back in time, but there, there's definitely kind of like a nostalgic feeling you have kind of like, I don't know when you when you used to listen to like records or VHS 
you know, videotapes or whatever. Walkmans. Yeah, yeah. There's some, just, just some nostalgic memory for that yeah. type of, for that period of time. And what I was doing is just kind of going out with my camera and just wandering around for the day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'd have a couple attractions in mind that I'd want to check out. Mm -hmm. But other times I just like, a lot of it was going with the flow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I wasn't trying to work and travel like we do now. It was just pure travel, pure experiential back then. So it's just whatever, whatever I got up to, I got up to for the day. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was so cool. Like in one of your Amritsar episodes that you actually found the hostel yeah. or the guest house where you had yeah. stayed. I just recognized this was the place where I stayed on the very first time I went backpacking across India, it was called the Sagar Inn Guest House. It's near the Golden Temple and it looks exactly the same. Yeah. Like over 10 years ago. Like, yeah. that is so cool that you recognize yeah. it. And it's still a budget friendly place. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, it was just the right, what, I was at the right age to be doing travel like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd like it as much now. Mm -hmm. I want a bit more of a plan. But back then, it was just like total spontaneity. I loved it. How about, how about your first trip to India? My first trip? Yeah. Mm. This is before we knew each other. It was. Oh. Okay, so technically, I was supposed to be going to India with my friend. And mm -hmm. the plan was, let's go to India together and then we'll also do Thailand. And we had about three weeks oh, to wow. play around with. And I remember <laughs> going to her house and we were like starting to plan the trip, like the destinations, how many days do we need in each place. Mm -hmm. And her mom walked into the kitchen and she was like, but you're not booking anything right now, right? And she was like, oh, no, 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 we'll do that later. And that probably should have been like my first little bell, like this girl is not going to come with me. <laughs> because sure oh, enough, man. a few weeks later, she's like, yeah, actually, I'm not going to be able to go to India, blah, blah, blah. So then I was like, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to India by myself? Oh, wow. But then my other sister, Ashley, was like, I'll come to India with you. Let's go together. Because it was for my boss's daughter's wedding. But like, my boss was super cool. He was basically like family. Everyone at work loved him. They called him Uncle Francis. So I was- Oh, I got I was, to meet him. Yeah, you yeah, met his once, boss. Yeah, once. we've had Indian food at his house. Yeah. Um, so yeah, my sister and I ended up going, but we flew to Mumbai mm -hmm. a few days before the wedding. So like Ashley and I were there on our own, first time in India, no smartphone, no laptops, no nothing. We and were like- This is pre, this is even before 2010 when I went. You, you know what? You visited India before me. Maybe. Yeah, I think I, I went in 2009 or mm -hmm. 2010 maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. We, we didn't know what we were doing. Like we had no guidebook, like I said, no smartphones, no maps. So we just went out of our hotel and we started walking and we were jet lagged. So we were like out at four in the morning, but it was already daylight. We were there in the summer. And I just remember like walking along the ocean and seeing the sun come up and like it was fiery red. And it's like, that's Whoa. the Arabian Sea. And then we walked to the um, the gateway. What's that called in Mumbai? Gateway of India, is it? Mm, yeah. And it was like, wow, there it is in front of us. And like, we were just blown away. Um, but yeah, we were just walking around aimlessly without a plan. I feel like that was the norm back then. Oh yeah. No? Especially if you're backpacking. Yeah. yeah. Have a few, uh, you have a yeah. few points of uh, interest that you mm -hmm. want to visit. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the day was an adventure. Yeah. Yeah. I miss those days. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I have my phone with the me. Care, and like carefree day, the carefree days, the carefree days of your youth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, that was it. Was a really fun trip. So then, after like three days in Mumbai, I think it was, we drove down to Pune with the whole family, their family. <laughs> I'm getting hiccups. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. And then they had the wedding in Pune. That was a lot of fun. A whole bunch of the couple's friends had flown in from the Middle East where they were all working. And then after the ceremony, we all hopped on a bus mm -hmm. and we went down to Goa. And I think we That's spent awesome. like a week on the beach in Goa. And it we was- never made it there. No, yeah. I was there in monsoon season. Wow. Like it rained nonstop. There were like rivers <laughs> flowing down the street and yeah, it was a lot of fun though, even though we didn't actually spend time on the beach tanning, swimming and nothing like that. It was, it was a good time. That's so cool. Yeah. And then, um, 
we the I've been to India three times. The second mm -hmm. time was with you and my parents. Yeah, that was a real adventure. Yeah, we loved that. It was a it was a, entirely by train, which was super yes. cool. Yes, <laughs> the whole trip. The by whole train. trip was by train, and we wanted oh. to do that, so we booked we booked the train tickets like two or three months in advance. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. was which such an awesome way to travel in India because. Uh, it's just it's so fascinating to to see the landscapes and and, and so on when you go from yeah. one place to the next and the over there's something just like that i love about taking an overnight train and just sleeping on the train mm -hmm. i mean it's, it's not just in in, not just in india but like kind anywhere of anywhere in the world anywhere yeah. in the world for that matter that was a fun trip as well yeah and then the yeah. most recent one was with david where we were just kind of going all over the place it was a it was kind of like just a a whirlwind trip and we we hit up a lot of different cities and um, if I went back again I think I mean so many people have, have told me you should go to the Kerala South. yeah that's where I would want to go Kerala or the Northwest or the Northeast yeah. for the for the for the um, for the beautiful scenery and different yeah. culture and food up there I'd um, like to spend a few days on a riverboat that would be so oh cool. yeah and yeah. seeing tigers yeah that would be amazing that would be amazing tigers in the wild so you know what we should try now is the vegetable biryani mm. and the chicken tikka. Mm -hmm. Do you got some room on your plate? I do. My plate is looking very messy. I it's do okay. apologize. A little bit of rice. I really love my naan. I just want to keep eating naan. <laughs> that's this good. Is packed with flavor and spice. Mm -hmm. Again, that's spicy too. Mm -hmm. I love the long, the long grains of rice. Yeah. That's my favorite type of rice. The seasoning is really nice. Don't forget the chicken tikka. Yeah, chicken tikka. Mm. From the tandoori oven. The tandoori oven. Ooh, that's good. Ho oh. ho! Hello, chicken tikka. Mm. Spice again, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm actually gonna grab a bit of this yogurt sauce. I should have grabbed some sooner to kind of quench the spice. Oh! Oh, I'm starting to get full. Yeah? Oh yeah, I, I had a lot of curry and then... Now that I'm moving on to the rice and chicken, I still got room for some more though. This is probably going to be like mm -hmm. the meal of the day. Mm -hmm. The meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the meal. I don't see myself having supper. Mm. It's been such a feast. That was a lot of fun. Seriously, it was. We need to do it again. Maybe what we can do is we can try South Indian food because yeah. by the time by the time we film that video, we're going to be uh, deep into the South India part of our series in, in Bangalore and in Chennai. I think we'll try to find some, uh, a place here in Brampton that specializes in uh, South Indian delights. I'm Indian sure food. that will not be a problem. Yeah. We've got all the Indian restaurants you yeah. can possibly want. But that's what's so awesome about living in Brampton and being yeah. in Canada is to be able to eat this delicious, authentic Indian food, mm. this amazing uh, Punjabi food. I just mm -hmm. love it. I just mm -hmm. love it. So can you give us a little teaser and tell us what's to come in South India? Because next is Bangalore and Chennai. So what were some highlights down there? We've got some dosas coming up. We ate at um, at a roadside daba, which is a, a, a specialty restaurant on the on the highway. Okay. We try some more non-veg and fish items, mm -hmm. especially in Chennai. We mm. get into the fish. Dosas are really famous especially in uh, in Bangalore. Would you say the food was spicier in the south? In the, I've heard things. You know what? It's <laughs> it really depends on the dish. Really depends on the dish. Okay. Some of the like some of the fish curries were really spicy that I, I remember. Mm -hmm. But I mean like the dosas weren't as much. They were more I don't know, they were more savory. Cool. Yeah, I'm really excited because the series was filmed many months ago, so now that I'm editing and we're putting it out, it's like it's like reliving the trip all over again. Yeah. Enough time has passed. And I mean, I wasn't there, so I'm um, experiencing it for the first time. Yeah, I kind of do the first cut of the edit and then I mm -hmm. hand it over to Audrey. She polishes mm -hmm. it off. So yeah, you're seeing all this stuff for the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh. Feast of a feast, huh? I'm so full, but also my mouth is on fire. Yeah, yeah, same here, same here. Oh man. So, <laughs> so that was, that was tons of fun, mm -hmm. guys. We will try doing more takeout. We still can't eat at restaurants, so takeout yeah, is our is our is our option for the time being. Yeah. So, um, if you guys would like us to try some specific dishes here in Brampton in Canada, let mm -hmm. us know in the comments. Also, we're thinking of of attempting to cook some Indian food for the first time ourselves. I think we can do it. Yeah. 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 So, uh, if you'd like to see us making any particular dishes. Please let us know. Leave it in the comments. We we so appreciate all the comments. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video and we'll have more coming soon. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta. Okay.